One night was life-changing, unforgettable, and memorable in our lives. That was when the world seemed to be small and the hours were stuck. We lost our relatives and friends. There are millions of refugees around the world who are full of hunger, fear, and have no home. Many of them are children. They have nobody to tell their problems. They have no idea when they can go back home. They are wounded deep inside, which makes it hard for them to let go and move on. My life changed when I left my home behind and everything else I ever knew in my entire life. In 2004, the war broke out in my country, the Democratic Republic of Congo. Many people were killed, but most members of my family managed to flee to Uganda. Although we made it to Uganda, my sister and brother were separated from us during the war. After we got to Uganda, Life became harder and we had to flee to Kenya. While we were living in Kenya, sometimes we did not have a place to stay or food to eat. We were suffering terribly from hunger. After spending four years in Kenya, the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees arranged for my family to come to the United States. Thinking about what happened in my country has been hard for me to overcome. These thoughts are overwhelming, but I keep being strong, hoping things can change. I also want to be strong for my family, although sometimes I feel like giving up. It seems impossible to put everything behind and try to concentrate. This has been my experiences, but mine is one of many. Freddie Manoa is one of the teenagers who has had similar experiences. When I was seven years old, we moved to another, to a neighbor country, Burundi, in a refugee camp. And I moved with my family, and there was a, a terrorist came and killed everybody. Luckily, my family survived, but uh, nine of my friends died. I was seven years old, but I can still remember like it happened yesterday. I was sleeping, then my dad woke me, so it was my first time to hear gunshot next to me. So I was in big shock, so I tried to stood up run, and then that's when I got shot, so I put myself um, close to my, my family, and that's when the guy heard us. He ordered his soldier to shoot him. The word he said, he said that finish them, because they're still alive. I can only say it was a miracle, because the tent was already starting burning up, so my dad grabbed a knife and just cut it into pieces, so we went out but we went to two directions. The next morning, they took me to the hospital and then it was tough to be in the hospital because no money. But then USA like decided to cover all the bills of the, the, the injured people. Zera Nahonirukie is 17 years old. She fled from her country to Tanzania because of war. In 2001, my family and I fled to Tanzania refugee camp. Life was hard and horrible. Living in refugee camp was very complicated because Tanzania refugee law does not allow refugees to work, so refugees had to depend on the United Nations High Commissioner for their daily living. Life was so, so painful. It was hard for me seeing my family and friends suffering from hunger and walking miles and miles just searching for water. Throughout our journeys, we had a lot of bad experiences and they have made us who we are today. As for me, I have learned that revenge is not the solution to our problems. I also run to help people in need because I know how it feels to have nothing. And I hope people can understand that it is everyone's responsibility to make a positive difference in our world.